Let's get rid of this fast, because I have an Ubuntu video to complete. So, Wallabag is a service that stores web articles for reading them later. The difference with other similar services is that the server is open source, so we can deploy it to our machine. Now does that make any sense for just reading articles? I don't think so, but let's move on. I tried the Android app, but nothing really I'm going to ever use. And besides, with just 10,000 installations, most people would probably agree. Another story is that the service isn't even free. It only costs $9 a year, but still if you charge $9 for bookmarks, what Google should charge for G Drive? 9 billion pesos? Anyway! And then we have a GTK client that is the main event of the video, and also it is written on Rust. So let me start this, and the first time launch presents us with a screen that asks for client ID and client secret. Quite honestly, that is way far from a good UX, but welcome to Linux, so everything's cool. What we need to do, is to go to Wallabag API console and create a new client. But I already have created one so I'm just going to add my credential to the app. Wallabag gives a 14 days free trial, so I'm using this. Ok, everything's pretty clean for now, so let's dirty the things up. And I don't even know if that means something. Obviously I could use Chrome extension to add an article, but for now I will go old fashioned and add a link directly. And save. So that's our first article, and we can read it from inside the app and it uses something like the read mode of web browsers. We can also open images, but I'm not sure how we can go back to article, because back button will send us back to the main screen. For now we can open links, but I suspect links will open on a web browser. Oh, and that black background you see? It is from options. Another thing we can do is to star our articles, and those will be sent to favorites rather to archives. So that was all. It is just the second release so there is not point to go more through, since many things may add it later. Before this video ends, I would like to discuss a bit how these services can actually compete Google accounts.